All right, let me try to make this quick and simple and easy to understand as possible. Okay, Daniel has a dream in which he sees four kings or four beasts. And at the end of this dream is the end of the world. Okay, so at the end of the fourth beast, this also parallels with what we read in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. Okay. At the end of the world, okay, so at the end of the fourth beast is the end of the world. So also is the fourth beast, the beast of Revelation, all right? So um, now Daniel talks about, or he lists, basically he lists the first three beasts, okay? And we can, let me make this real simple. So the first beast we can read in Daniel 1, and it's the Babylonian kingdom. The second beast, Daniel 5, the Medes and the Persians. And then the third beast in Daniel 8, which is the Greek Empire, okay? The fourth beast is not mentioned, but we can figure out who the fourth beast is by reading Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. All right, this, is, this Caesar Augustus is a Roman emperor, which means he was the king of the Roman Empire. Therefore, we can conclude that the fourth beast is the Roman Empire. Now, people have a question about, in Revelation, it talks about two beasts. All right, and so if you, uh, if we go there, right, it talks about the beast that thou sawest was and is not. All right, and then here at the bottom, it says, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. All right, and the beast that was and is not, he is even, even he is the of the eighth and is of the seven. If go to the perdition, this is uh, Revelation 17 talking about the seven kings. The five kings are fallen. One is and one is to come. This is talking about a succession of popes, basically. All right, to be straightforward with you. All right, so now the beast that was and is not and yet is, is a description of the Roman empire collapsing and then reforming itself into the roman catholic church and so also here in revelation 13 it talks about and i saw one of the heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed this is a parallel to what we're reading here in, in uh, revelation 17 all right and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed so the first beast is also the second beast, all right? It's the same beast. It's the fourth beast of Daniel. So the deadly wound was healed when the Roman Catholic Church sprung up, all right? And it's interesting here. It says he exercises all the power of the first beast and causes the earth to worship the first beast. So the, everybody in their own country worships their own government as though it were the Roman Empire. All right, and then uh, in the Revelation 17, it talks about how this beast or this woman, it, which the woman, the great whore, the beast, the uh, Babylon, the the great mystery Babylon, however you, the mother of harlots, however you want to describe it, it's all talking about the same thing. All right, it's all talking about the beast, the fourth beast of Daniel. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So the Roman Catholic Church reigns over the kings of the earth. Okay, and then God willing, I'll do another video that will tell you exactly who the Antichrist is. Don't let nobody fool you.